Hello, everybody. Welcome to Build Fly Go. So, memor memorable, memorous, <laughs> big occasion uh, this week. So, we are working on the big fiberglass cabin top. It's a lot of trimming. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's sort of tedious. <laughs> and um, so, Vans ships you this big fiberglass part with the fuselage kit. And there are scribe lines um, on the fiberglass which indicate sort of where you should make uh, some of the cuts, right? So that it's it's shaped bigger than it needs to be. Um, honestly, I don't understand why they make it bigger than it needs to be because they know exactly what shape the fiber, the, the fuselage is going to end up in. But, you know, you know how these things go. Um, so the plans say, you know, like cut outside the scribe, li scribe line, fit it, you know, cut it to a certain size and fit it and, you know, repeat ad nauseum. Um, it turns out that the scribe lines are really uh, not very close at all to where uh, you're going to end up. Um, so one of the big things that you have to do is sort of fit the door sides, right? If you look at the fuselage right there, you can see that there's that sort of cutout in the middle where the doors go. And the fiberglass uh, edge... I should get a big, bigger picture of you uh, of us uh, putting it there. The fiberglass edge that comes down there um, is way too wide to fit in there. That's exactly 37 inches wide, and the fiberglass comes, you know, significantly bigger than that. So you have to trim down the sides. And honestly, you trim it down. I mean, that thing goes from being over an inch wide to being, I don't know, an eighth. <laughs> it, it, it gets really, really, really small, and it looks like you're doing it wrong. Um, but I had a lot of conversations with uh, other builders online and other people that have done this. And yeah, the, you know, the, the joke is these get razor thin. And because of the way you sand it, it actually is razor sharp too. So you got to be careful not to cut yourself there. Um, I just ran some scotch bright down the edge to, to clean it up. But yes, so there we go. It's finally mostly fit. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of... Uh, Oh, wow, that looks great. <laughs> a little bit of uh, more tweaking, right? So the back also has to be tweaked to fit the, the, the back bulkhead there so it's not pushing up against the skin. That's what I'm doing when I'm crawling in there is making sure it's not um, pushing on the bulkhead, right? You don't want to put pressure on that. So you trim back a little more, um, et cetera, et cetera. So now that we've got... Uh, sort of the, the the door section in the back, mostly done, right? We also need to trim things down a bit so it sits at the right height above the, the, the skins, which is sort of a, a, a tricky um, part, but it's just more sanding, more shaving things down and, and getting things to be the right shape. You'll notice that we put the, um, I guess those are the armrests? They're not really armrests. Those side pieces there, the green ones that we got powder coated because that, adds to the height there um, that we have to use to fit. So I don't know, you know, so it, it's just a lot of a lot of trimming and a lot of just getting things right and a lot of re repetition. Uh, once we have that door section done and the rear done and the sort of the deck done so it fits at the right height, you're going to see we're going to put in place the uh, sort of the panel, you know, front part of the fuselage because that actually fits at an angle uh, against the front of the canopy uh, section there. So um, by the end of this week, uh, this past Saturday, uh, we pretty much have this fit at this point. There's very, very little left to do and I, uh, very little tweaking. Um, I need to go back and actually see what's left and then we just drill it and uh, get things attached. All right, thanks for watching, folks. We will talk soon. Have a good day.